It has been a hard year for a lot of us. Um, terrible headlines in the news, and then whatever issues our friends are dealing with, and then whatever issues we have to deal with. Sometimes the temptation to give up is overwhelming. But there is one single episode of television that inspires me to keep going even when I feel like giving up. Keep watching to find out what it is. Hi, I am Christine the Middle-Aged Fangirl. I have or have had depressive disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And it was film and fandom that helped me survive. I talk about how specific films and TV shows have helped me deal with my own issues and the awesome benefits of being a part of the community of fandom. If this sounds interesting, please subscribe by hitting the little red button below. In addition to all the rotten things 2017 brought, it's been a hard year for me personally. Mental illness is like any other kind of illness. You have good days, you have bad days. Sometimes it goes into remission, sometimes it comes back. I had been feeling really good for a couple of months and then wham, I just had a really bad couple of weeks. My depression and anxiety hit me again. My post-traumatic stress disorder triggers started triggering. There were days when I just wanted to hide underneath the covers and a few days when I actually did. The good thing is that now I have a way to deal with it. When the voices come and say, you are completely worthless, I don't argue with them anymore. I say, you know what? You could be right, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I can still do good in the world and I have to survive just because somebody has to be there to do good in the world. I can still help. I can still comfort people who are hurting. I can still defend people who have no voice. I have to survive because there is suffering and I can do something to help. There's a line from the movie, The Wind and the Lion, which I recommend if you haven't seen it already, in which Sean Connery says to his friend, it's been a bad year and the next one will probably be worse. And that's sort of how I feel. It doesn't matter because I have important work to do and so do you. And when I need to be reminded why I fight to stay alive, I watch the series finale of Angel. Now I have mixed feelings about Angel the series. I enjoyed seasons one, two, and three. Um, I hated season four. We'll never ever watch it again. Um, and the only reason I'm glad I did is so I could get to season five, which is one of the best seasons of television ever. Ian Martin, who has the passion of the nerd video channel, calls season five of Angel terrible, wonderful, awe-inspiring season five. And I agree with him. In season five of Angel, Angel and his friends now run Wolfram and Hart, the evil law firm that's been their villain for the previous four seasons. It's complicated to explain why, but that's why you have to watch season four. Angel finally decides to take down Wolfram and Hart from the inside by assassinating the inner circle. In the final episode of the series, Angel and Wesley and Gunn and Spike and Lorne and Illyria. Did I say Illyria? All work together to kill the members of the inner circle. Now there are a lot of wonderful little moments that I love in this episode. Spike getting a round of applause with his poetry at a biker bar and Lorne singing If I Ruled the World, which is in fact, one of my favorite songs, even though it's fairly obscure. And I pretty much love all of Illyria's lines. But the reason I watch this episode over and over again is because of what it says about evil and suffering. What if I told you it doesn't help? What would you do if you found out that none of it matters? That it's all controlled by forces more powerful and uncaring than we can conceive? And they will never let it get better down here. What would you do? I'd get this truck packed before the new stuff gets here. Want to give me a hand? I do. One, two, three. This 
episode gives the viewer a really clear choice. You can either say, the powers against us are too strong, evil is too strong, we will never win, so we might as well just give up. Or you can say what the episode says over and over again. We fight because fighting is the right thing to do. I have a couple of physical symptoms with my anxiety, one of which is that my body never relaxes. I feel like my heart is pounding and is, is going to explode out of my body every minute of every day. And it may be that I live the rest of my life that way. It may be that I have to fight the same demons every day. It may be that every couple months my depression and anxiety and CPTSD triggers pop up their heads and say, remember us? We are still here. But that's okay because every day that I don't give up is a victory. And every act of kindness and unselfishness and bravery is a blow against evil. What I appreciate about this episode is that it says there will not be a clear victory. It also doesn't promise that everybody you love will be okay. People, main characters die, but it doesn't matter because we fight anyway. I am so thankful that Angel did not end with a blanket victory because I can get up every day and the demons are still there and it may be raining, but I can stand there and say, let's go to work. Now, there are a lot of questions I could ask in this video. Um, do you like Angel? What's your favorite episode of Angel? But I'm actually more interested in what inspires you. Do you have an episode of television, a movie, a book, a passage from a book, a poem, a song? Do you have something that when you have those days, and we all do, that you watch or listen to or read that mm, reminds you that it's okay. Yes, the world sucks, but we fight because it's the right thing to do. So let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching this video. If this video helped you even just a little bit, uh, please subscribe and also share it with somebody you know who you think it might help because this is the reason I do this. Because film and fandom are good for the soul.